to the social forums where people are speaking, 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 and then at one point in time you said no from your back. Then the second point, what is your teachability index when everyone who are here, they definitely do have a teachability index at the very highest level. What is that teachability index means? High willingness to learn and high willingness to accept change. And very rightly said in the first session, what is the change you are looking into? Of course, when you want to become a good leader, when you want to become a good speaker, when you want to become a good communicator, definitely you need to change. And what is that change? The very first change comes on this Friday 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> oh my. You have to sacrifice your afternoon, weekend, sleep. And it starts with that. So what is your willingness to accept change? And your willingness to learn? Definitely. It has to be there. It is there. That's why we are here. And I believed in the journey of this competent communicator or the Toastmastering journey what I had till now is that I need to have my highest willingness to learn and acceptance or a willingness to change. The third point is that training balance scale. Now this training balance scale is very funny. I think when you are sitting there in the chair and you are listening to different speeches and all that, that varies. The training balance scale tells me one is how the skills and one is my attitude. If I don't have an attitude to listen, the very first basic requirement, then my this balance, the scale is not balanced. Because how and all those techniques are definitely available here. Don't worry, you are at the right place. That is what I felt. But if I don't have a positive attitude to look into that, if I don't have a positive attitude to listen to that first, and then inculcate into myself slowly and steadily to reach to my goal. The goal may be different. But yes, this attitude and how, and how much is the percentage? I felt it, 99.99% is an attitude and that 1% is the skill. Because you can acquire skill, attitude cannot be acquired. It has to be there inside. And the four basic steps, which I felt, which I learned from somewhere, but I felt they are very much appropriate in this Toastmastering journey or from this is the just beginning point, the four concepts. First, you have that unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know. The unconscious incompetence becomes conscious incompetence. Yes. Now, as a joint Toastmaster, I need to develop my these, these, these points. I am not good in vocabulary. It is my conscious incompetence. Then comes the conscious competence. <coughs> the conscious competence says that yes, I am doing my timekeeper job, I am doing my evaluator job, I am doing my word master job, I am doing my uh, toast, uh, sorry, table topic uh, uh, speaker as, as a speaker, I am coming as a table topic speaker. So all these, these the test, uh, Toastmaster of the day, all these roles, they told me, they helped me, they groomed me, groomed me in the right way of saying myself that yes, I am consciously competent, I am consciously competent, I am consciously competent. And then I think, each one of us, every one of us is now looking towards that, that is the fourth concept, that is unconscious in unconscious competence. Remember, when you are trying to ride the bicycle, you are falling down, falling down. Just remember tying the shoelace, unconscious incompetence. We don't know how to tie the shoelace, we don't know how to ride the cycle. Conscious incompetence. Yes, I know. I cannot do it. Conscious competence. Once again, okay, the knees are gone. The, 
the elbows are gone, but still we are trying to learn the cycle. Still, still we are trying to add the shoeless. And then finally, one day you are talking to your brother, your sister, your mother, and you are automatically tying your shoeless. You are automatically on the bicycle, but then you want to fall down, but you cannot fall. That is unconscious competence. And my friends, let me tell you the news. I want to go to that unconscious competence because it's not over until I win. Over to you.